Okay, I wanted to say thanks to uh, G. Bluer, who's been uh, teaching me a lot about this circuit, and he uh, pointed out something that I thought was really kind of neat for low voltage slayers. I'm running the same circuit, MPS A06, and uh, on that note as well, he taught me another thing about uh, using an HFE meter. Um, not all MPS A06s are created equally. And if you take the HFE on some, he was stating that uh, they run anywhere from 130 up to 220. And if you buy 100, you're going to get various different values. That one there is about 130. The one I was running on my last video was only about 89, 90, something like that. Anyway, um, this is about connecting an additional coil. So here I have the circuit that was running on two AAA batteries and it ran for eight hours so now it's starting to flutter a bit okay and I'll show you what I mean by that by turning off this reference light okay there's a there's a bit of flutter there I don't know what view might show it the best uh, turn off all the lights so it's completely dark in here oh, it's hard to it there there you can see the flutter just a bit of flutter in the top okay so when I look at my batteries I'm running at about 2.6 volts now of course a brand new AAA battery alkaline is going to run you around 1.6 so when they were brand new and I used them it might have been as high as 3.2 now it's about 2.6 volts after about seven or eight hours of use so here's the trick that G Blue are showing me if you look at your circuit <clears throat> um, down here on this one right here is a diode and it's a super fast diode 1N 4148 I believe it's called now it's connected from the negative rail you can see over and then it's going into nowhere alright but then you'll also see that over here okay I have a very, it's not even a good one, it's a its a telephone bell wire pancake. And then it comes around, comes out, and um, see the one connection is on that blue jumper, and that's heading over to the base of the transistor. My MPS A06 is actually backwards in there. Okay, so just so you know, so the, on the very right hand side is the emitter, and then to the left of that is the base, and then closest to this side over here, that's a collector. Okay, so point is, is that one side of the coil jumps over to the base, and I'm going to show you the difference of when I connect this coil through that diode over to the base from negative, not from positive. All right, so we're sitting at 2.6 volts running this circuit, and you can see it's it's drawing like on this meter, it's like it's next to nothing basically. It almost can't pull enough current to to do what you want it to do. You can see it's starting to flutter. So what I do is I connect this over here see this was his little trick that he showed me now if I can do this I'll just touch the diode which would be the same difference can you see that hopefully you can see that increase of brightness now when you do that you know it doesn't come for free you do see a uh, slight jump in the needle but at this point you know what's the difference between 20 and 25 milliamps oh, it's really hard to do all this stuff on here here you can see it's jumping up a bit so I'll show you the difference in the brightness with the uh, with the light off because it's a better reference Ah. 
quite a difference, you know, for however more, many more milliamps, you, it's quite a difference. So, you know, you're getting, sucking more juice out of those batteries. And I don't have much. Uh, just out of curiosity, let's see what happens. With the voltage. Yeah, it does it does drop the potential in the battery a bit when you're doing that. So it basically pulls on the battery harder. Which is neat. See that? It drops down to 258 and then I pull it off. Goes back up to 2.60. Put it back on. Down to 256 even. But the light is the light difference is, is quite substantial. I like it. It's a neat trick. Let's show you the light difference one more time. There you go. Thanks a lot, G Blur, that was cool.